Hello, Veteran0121 here. Welcome back. This is another episode of Dragon Quest XI. In the last episode, Queen Marina of Nautica sent us on our way. Lou John told us about Cobblestone and how it's now been dubbed the Last Bastion. And, uh, yeah, we're going to go speak with King Carnelian. He's no longer under the influence of the evil Morgan, the Lord of Shadows. Headless chickens? Remember Yanga saying that in Dragon Quest Eight. Isn't that nice? Hey, kid. Hey, it's Cole. What's up, Cole? Oh, yeah. Oh, hey, nice job. Very nice job. Glad I was a good influence on you, kid. Oh yeah, I already talked to them. I already talked- wait, did I talk to you yet? Welcome to the mysterious realm of the magnet. oh, what? Fine, whatever. Trouble on the horizon. Oh yeah, man. I mean... Doesn't take much to see that. Wait, what, a hundred gold for another fucking holy water? Fine, whatever. Yeah. Whatever, so I bought one of her expensive holy waters. Yeah, there's a lot of undead apparently. It's all the dead people and animals came back to life in Igasol fall. Yeah, it's... It's a zombie apocalypse. Literally. Hey, it's Dirk! What the hell are you doing here, buddy? Uh, no, nah, I haven't seen Eric yet, man. Uh, hopefully I'll run into him again. Let's see what kind of stuff he has. He has... Crap. Unless there's a material in there you need for something. What? You have to try and laugh. Dude! Your wife is gone. You'll never get your meals again. Wow. Whatever. You should be sad, not laughing. You shouldn't try to force laughter like in... Like in Final Fantasy X. Cause that kind of laughter is fucking cringeworthy. Wait, they just told me to go see the king. 
Why is this guy telling me not to go see the king? Was he stupid? Trying to make sure I get everything here. Ah. Fatalistic. I don't remember what that... Well, it's... Well, obviously it's material, but... I don't remember what the fuck it's for. I don't remember any of that stuff. Oh! Yeah, here that Linnea told me that this chest here would actually be empty if you got the recipe book in the old church in Act 1. I actually missed the recipe book, or like I had showed recording, I like I had recorded getting it, and then I had to revert to an old save, and when I did that, I forgot to get the fucking book. Again. Like when I played again, so yeah, it was... It's one of those things, but yeah, if you miss that book, you get the Templar uniform there. to fear. I have regained my senses at last. The living nightmare that began for me on the day of your birth has ended. Though in truth, I remember little of what I did. I have inflicted so much pain on so many. On you. I do not ask for forgiveness. I do not deserve it. All I ask is that I be allowed to atone. To pay for my crimes by protecting those who remain. Tell me, do you recall what happened on that fateful day? The events that came to pass beneath Yggdrasil's branches? Uh, yes, sort of. I mean, up to a point. I see. I recall nothing. All I know is that whomever, or whatever, had me in its grasp for all those years, left me there. And when at long last I returned to my senses, I was here. There is something else I must ask you. Tell me, do you know if my daughter is alive? No idea, buddy. Hero has returned. He brings more survivors seeking sanctuary. Come. You must meet he to whom we owe our survival. Though you may not wish to at first. Well, I mean, we had differences because he thought I was the dark spawn. <laughs> so, I mean, it's not like he probably really had anything against me other than that. I mean, he thought I was Satan. But I'm sure if he didn't think I was Satan, he probably wouldn't have had a problem with me, right? Well, now he knows I'm not Satan, so that's good. Let's go fucking... Check out what's going on this way, then.
Yeah, I'm sorry, lady. He seems pretty gung ho. Probably not gonna stop him. Unless he's Baran Sark and he falls out of a tower. That might stop him. Luminary. Becoming a soldier, that is. Welcome back, Hendrik. Well, what news? The forces of darkness amass at the gates of Heliodor. They will strike, and soon. Sire, the people must be removed to safety. Men! All the signs are that our enemy will strike tonight. To arms! They shall not find us unprepared! As you see, he is as eloquent as ever. But you must forgive him. He has fought harder than any of us. He has sacrificed more than anyone. Which is why his burden must be lightened. It is time that your differences were set aside, Luminary. Mankind needs you. Hendrik needs you. Will you stand beside him? Why, certainly. I mean, he is a... If we are able to withstand the assault tonight, we may yet survive. He's a fantastic specimen, so I mean, I'm sure having him having my back in a fight would be a good idea. Absolutely. All right, so we're gonna have to fight off the horror of monsters that are about to attack us. Outstanding. Be like defending the uh, the Frozen Esper in Final Fantasy VI. Kind of, except we're just you know protecting ourselves. We're not actually protecting anything in particular. We're not protecting a MacGuffin. It's all right, man. Wherever I go, trouble follows. Damn, man. He bought all the holy water he can carry from Mistress Bev. It's too bad she doesn't fucking give you guys discounts. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's definitely save. Alright. That's good info. Yeah, man. We could fucking kill some dragons with this fucking thing. <laughs> right? I'm gonna kill, probably kill a lot of things with that fucking thing. A cyclops. Right in the middle of the eye. With this fucking giant crossbow. Hell yeah, man. Let's do it. But yeah, I think I will have a prey.
Well, they call it the fall now, huh? Oh, yeah, but yeah, the, he's basically saying that, yeah, our zoom list has been cleared. Can't zoom anywhere anymore unless we z visit it again, which, uh, which sucks. All thanks to Mortigan. That's alright. Aha. Uh -huh. Girls I didn't get. say you made it all the way to the last bastion under your own steam well I'm impressed I've got to tell ya you can obviously handle yourself there or you were born lucky well either way I'm sure we can find a use for ya follow me right Here's your spot. Just face that way, and when the monsters come, stick the pointy end of your sword in them. Huh. Oh, don't look so worried. You'll be fine. Ah, stick them with the pointy end. <coughs> Got it. Oh yeah, man. Positions, man. A proper scrap. A lot of soldiers are too proud to run away from a fight, but when you've bitten off more than you can chew, it's better to be honest with yourself. So if you're getting the feeling of these monsters... No, no, not a chance, buddy. If I were you, I'd head to the cave east of here and use the wimpy monsters there as punching bags. Oh, great. Yeah, right in the middle of a fight, I'm just going to go level up. Okay. Whatever, dude. <laughs> Thanks for the advice, though. All right, so let's just tie a regular attack here, see how much we do. Hmm. There we go. Leave the stragglers to me. <laughs> All right, magic water. Thanks, guy. So yeah, for defeating monsters, we can get items from random people, or random soldiers in this area.
I guess she doesn't give you anything. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, another fatalistic. Oh, I guess we can't fight them. I thought you could, but... Oh. Memory sucks for this part. Yeah, I mean, it's not anything great, but they're extra items, I guess. <laughs> Enviable sleek hair and fighting skills, yes. Yes, that would describe me. Sleek here and enviable fighting skills. Here, take this. It may prove useful, and it may not. What you say is. <laughs> It may prove useful to you, or it may not, but you're gonna take it anyways. <laughs> oh shit, that's fucking funny. Yeah, some of the dialogue in this game is just fucking hilarious. I'm, I probably missed a whole bunch of stuff in this game. I don't know, it seems like I catch new funny stuff every time I play it. Of course there's no end to them, man. Wow, oh, man, these are monsters. They just spawn out of nowhere. And then the older games, they just appear out of nowhere, too. You can be just strolling along, all of a sudden... I mean, you know how it goes. Back in the olden days. Playing these games. Yeah, I actually heard that they were afraid of ditching random encounters because they thought people were going to be pissed off about it. Yeah, I don't think it was much of a problem. Yeah, just, look, at, look at him over here, man. Holy crap. I'm done for.
<laughs> Poor guy. Hey. I want to fight you jerks. Oh, shit. Now, I think that's the first time I ever noticed that guy up there. Come down here, you coward. <laughs> I want to go up there and talk to him, but... Eh, oh well. That's funny. Alright, fine. Let's go help Hendrick. I need to make sure everybody else is good, though. So, great sword guard. Yeah, defense don't matter. At least not that much. You. Oh, 
Thanks, buddy. Victory is ours. Retreat! Move your bones! Yeah, pretty easy. A message from His Majesty. He wishes to speak with you. Both of you. Even if you don't have beefed up stats like me, that fight is really easy. You have pretty much nothing to worry about. Um, I just decided to take out uh, the big guy first. I mean, I, so basically I did it backwards. I mean, you probably want to uh, prioritize the little guys before you take out the big guy. Alright man, so you guys are gonna take care of things here. Yeah man, we all need to head back and hit the hay. And we all need some women too. Nothing like a good woman after a fight. Yeah, they were, well, they were pretty easy with the sword that I got, man. I'm sure, I'm sure light damage is pretty effective against zombie-type enemies. Alright, man, so I'm earning the respect of the Haldorian soldiers. Awesome. Alright man, yeah. Time to go to sleep. Again, time for some women. Where are the cheering fans, the crying women? Oh wait, they're right here.
Oh, I'll try to get attention from Roxy, I guess. She's like the most popular whore in Heliodor. I mean, I mean, I mean, escorts. She's like Roz and fucking um, Game of Thrones or some shit. Let's go talk to the king. Let's see what's up. Yeah, we won. We did it. Dirk. None of the horses got hurt. That's some damn luck right there, man. Usually at least one horse gets harmed in a fucking battle. At least one. I'd be willing to wager that at least one horse has been hurt in every battle in history with heavy cavalry. At least one at least one horse has been hurt every battle. Well, unless there was no battle to begin with. I guess two armies could meet in the battlefield and not fight. But that wouldn't be considered a battle now, would it? Potential battle. a debt of gratitude you have proven your strength and your ability to work together it is time time to bring light back to this benighted land the fiend that usurped my throne must be ousted Heliodor castle must be reclaimed and you my loyal servants must lead the charge Wait, when did I ever swear, swear fealty to you? Eh, oh well. Whatever. But, but, sire. I do not give these orders lightly, Hendrik. My spies have found a means by which we might gain an advantage. The city's sewers can be entered from the cliffs in the side of the hill atop which Heliodor stands. You will use these sewers to infiltrate the castle from beneath. Yep, well, it's always the sewers or an underground passage. Well, unlock the gate. All right, so we get the sewer key. I did mention this key.
key earlier on in the game when I was talking about certain doors in the Haldorian sewers. Well, this is that key. Will command our forces in my absence. If the enemy renews the attack, we will be slaughtered. We will not. We will be prepared. Prepared to draw them out, leaving the castle unguarded. The usurper must be overthrown while we have the chance. We strike now, or we never see the light of day again. Please, your majesty. We cannot allow yet more lives to be lost. Precisely. Which is why you must quell the darkness at its source. We seize our one opportunity, or we consign ourselves to despair. It is as simple as that. Hmm. Or do you question the wisdom of your king? My subjects have shown me the depth of their courage. I trust in their ability to endure this one last assault. And I order you to do likewise. Sire. You are our last hope. Do not let us down. All too brief rest. Three hour nap, maybe. Wait, what? Why are you forbidden from that? Alright. Safe return. I like safe returns. Yes, too soon. We haven't won yet. Yeah, I mean, we're going on like a top secret infiltration mission here, you know, like some fucking like espionage type shit. I mean, for a mission like this, you know, like Eric would be a better compadre, but eh, what are you gonna do? Oh, this guy's whining about having a fight now? Jeez. Man, everywhere I go, I see that guy complaining about something. Oh, these people are making me work. Oh, you mean I gotta fight? Oh. I can't do it. I grab this one. Guess so.
Yeah, blue skies would be nice. Yep, that's the best place for women on the battlefield. The hospital. Or in a wartime area, I guess. They shouldn't be on the battlefield. I'm telling you right now. First hand experience. They do not make the army better. They do not make the army stronger. Or the military, I should say. Military in general. They do not. I don't care what anybody says. Sure. Like, 10% of them can hang with the men. Like, if 10% if of them can do a... Like, 10% of the females in the military can probably do a male PT test and pass. But the vast majority of them would, would fail a fucking PT test. Like, a, the male version. Like, the male standards. Oh, look at that. A special antidote I missed. Oh, wait, I don't think I went up here. Did I? Oh, maybe I did. Alright. I think I'm done fucking around. Let's do this shit. Wait, love. Mr. Hendrick, sir. I couldn't have a quick word with my boy, could I? 
I won't be long, I promise. As long as it is quick. Oh. So you're heading off again, are you? Well, just you be sure to listen to Sir Hendrik and do as you're told. And don't you dare go giving up, ever. Just look at me, eh? Something's wrong with my eyes now, too. Must be all this squinting in the dark. Quit peeling so much onions. Well, only one remedy for that. You'll just have to bring back the light. Promise? Oh, I promise. I was kind of born for this stuff, although... I got a little sidetracked. We must be on our way. You'll look after my boy, won't you, Sir Hendrik? Hmm. Obsidian, see the lady back to safety. Wait, what? He understands you when you tell him that? Holy shit. It's a smart horse, then. Whoa, hello. But yeah, the game is actually nice enough to kind of like... ...put us here? So yeah, sneaking the hell out of castle through the sewers, yeah, okay. Yeah, I forgot the game that... I forgot about the game just kind of like... Putting you here. And yeah, sorry about the clipping there. I don't know why it's clipping. I hate audio clipping. Again, I don't understand why it does that. I can get the game to run just fine, but whenever I try to go save it, it the audio wants to clip. That's all for this episode of Dragon Quest XI. In the next episode, we are going to infiltrate Helidor Castle. With Sir Hendrik. I understand that y when you and that blue haired thief were fleeing the dungeons, you leapt from a cliff in order to make good your escape. How you survived, I do not know. Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, of course we don't know. It's, it's just one of them things. I mean, just like Eric said, we just. Put our faith in whatever and just took the leap and somehow we didn't get smashed into a million pieces. But hey, whatever. It's all good. See you next time. Bye-bye.